My YouTube is Kathy and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can change a Windows XP layout style into Windows 7. So here I have already finished with all these folders with the cursors, the sound, the theme and arrow shake, arrow snap, task switch thing and this and the show desktop if you want more features like the dock or the sidebar I will make separate videos to find the link for the videos they in the description and I will make annotations so open the annotation options right now I post the video and now let's get started. Open your internet browser and go to this link. The link is in the description. It's 18,22 megabytes. Download it. Then you should get our zip file like that here. But first create a new folder and call this Windows 7. Double click so you need to program WinRA or any other program to open our zip file. Then click on the folder extract that to your desktop. Then you get this folder here Windows 7 styles. Put that in the Windows 7 folder that we created. Open this open this folder and here see the steps that we make let's start with the theme double click there here click on theme and double click here and here click on install it will show us the style of what we get here it's a 7 vgrtm and click apply when you are finished it should look like that and you see here now we have the Windows 7 theme. Next go back and let's create the Styler toolbar. Here you read first install me and then run me. So click first install me. Click next. Click next. Next. And it will install this. Then click on then run me click install then open the start menu programs and there you should get styler it will open this icon here go to the top and choose any style you want I choose arrow silver style after you started our new program whatever here wordpad you see on the top the styler and go back and click on Iconize taskbar hack and there click on install. After click it go only to restart or lock off and lock on again on your PC. So now after restart your PC the icon should look like this. It's only an icon. It's very cool. And here when you open ha when you have opened two windows you see here are two so click there and you can choose a folder then we should go to theme and in this folder one go to fonts click install let's start with the second part uh, go to the folder two its icons Let's change the Windows XP icons to Windows 7 icons. For that you need to go to first install me. That's the icon tweaker setup program. Click next. Yes. Next. 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 And let's run this. So when you have this here open, let's change it. So minimize this first and then go to the for then run me. It should pop up this on the side here you my computer is the current icon and the default click only apply 
and then you see here on the side all these new awesome icons only thing is go to ok and close this let's open back our folder and go back and let's start arrow shake arrow shake is a program when you check a window all windows behind will minimize or maximize so here the icon arrow shake double click maybe you think nothing happened but here on your thing you see arrow shake exit and now it should work so let's minimize this and open a new folder so open this and now when i check this window and now let's open the other windows again so click on the top and check it and the other two windows will pop up now let's go to error snap double click on the icon choose language yes and next 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 install so what arrow snap does is when you drag it on your right side a window on the right side it will make it larger back in the middle and when you drag on the top it will make full screen next is taskbar shuffler and double click click next yes next 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 install so and the taskbar shuffler is when you have here a window open and you drag it to the right you will see you can change the position of your sites next is number six drive icons so double click double click choose your language yes install after you install the drive icons you have to restart your pc and go to your um, hard drive you will see here now the you hard drive and you see here this the next is desktop click on show desktop and click here and now you see here this show desktop button when you click there we go to the desktop so it's very cool go back and number eight it sounds so we we'll open this all the sounds here that are all sound from Windows 7 then you go open your system preferences and go to sounds and then go to sounds and here will all be sounds that we have in the system so maybe for battery critical and click on there you can hear now the sound but we want a new one so go to search go to your desktop the windows 7 folder open that go to 8 sounds and here we have all sounds and search for battery critical there click there click OK and now it should be changed so let's hear very nice click on apply and we are done so make this with all sounds and number nine is cursor so double click there and you get here all these cursors all the windows seven go to the start menu system preferences or control panel go to mouse and to cursors here all cursors from windows what you can do now is put in all um, separate uh, maybe I show you another one go to our icon go to search and go to desktop to the Windows 7 folder that we have um, 9 on the cursors folder and here 
search for the icon we have um, background activities so it should be the icon with the working so 7 Windows 7 working click there click open and it should be changed then click apply you want to have it later too so go to click save under give it a name and then click apply and after this you have all these options uh, and then you can change what you want go to theme and here can you all change I have my already here Windows 7 and now we are finished um, so I hope that was very useful and now you sh should have the look from Windows 7 and bye